four-letter words that can be made from the letters P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S, -S, as they could. Four-letter words from Pointless. Richard? Yeah, we're looking for any four-letter word from the Oxford Dictionary of English that can be made using a combination of those letters, please. There's around about 100 four-letter words that can be made using those letters. As always, no hyphenated words, no trademarks, no proper nouns, anything like that. Thank you very much indeed. Now then, James and Tom, you all drew lots before the show, and today you're going to go first. James, we need, uh, we need a word, a four-letter word from the word pointless. OK, I'm going to say lest, L-E-S-T. While I was talking to him, oh, has yeah, come you... up with the word that, uh, that I was looking at that all the time you were telling them what the rules were and what yeah. words they can have. And it was that. And that was that. Yeah, oh, it was it? that. Lest, says James. Let's see if that's right. And if it is, let's see how many of our 100 people said lest. It's right, obviously. <laughs> 16. <laughs> 16, very well done. Good start, James. Tough on that podium in a words round, yet lest. OK. Now, John, welcome back. What are you going to go for? I'm going to go for slow. S-L-O-E. S-L-O-E. Very nice indeed. OK, slow, says John. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many people said it. It's right. Oh, very well done indeed. Look at that, John. <laughs> Superb answer. Slow, scoring just one. Oh, John means business today, doesn't he? It's a really <laughs> well, we good go, answer, John. We go picking them every... October. Oh, do you? Yes, the, the yeah. gin. Yeah, yeah so. the fruit, the fruit of the blackthorn. <laughs> slow, and as you say, a lovely slow gin. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. I think you it's very the much. gin I like more in slow gin than the slow, though. But <laughs> <laughs> it's the sugar I quite like in slow gin. <laughs> it's all right. Thanks very much indeed. Now, Andy, words, Andy, words, four-letter words from Pointless. I'm going to go for pent. Pent. It's another good one. Let's see if pent's right. Well, we know pent's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said pent. It's obviously right. 16 is our high score, one is our low. 20 for Pence. Yeah, closely confined or held back under pressure, Pent. Uh, now then, Heather, welcome to the show. Here we are, four letter words from Pointless. Well, I can see a few. Um, I'm going to go for Isle, I S L E. I S L E. They're very good, this lot. Mm, they're, they're very good. They? Do you mean you still haven't got one, you're saying? Yes, what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Isle, says Heather. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Isle. Very well done. Well, 20's our high score, one is our low. You pass 20. Seven for Isle. <laughs> very well played, an Isle. You know what that means. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're halfway through the round. Let's take a look at those scores. One, the best score of that pass, John. Superb. Then up to seven, where we find Heather and Nikki. Up to 16, where we find James and Tom. And then up at 20, we find Andy and Hannah. You're really not that far ahead. But Hannah, just to make sure you're in the next round, let's have a really nice low score from you, please. Uh, we're going to come back down the line now. Can the second players please take their places at the podium? OK, so we are looking for four-letter words you can make out of the word pointless. Nikki, welcome to the show. Now, what are you going to go for? Four-letter word from pointless. I think I'm going to take a risky one, which Heather's probably going to kill me for. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go for Tyne, T-I-N-E. Tyne. Tyne, says Nikki. I don't think it is. It's certainly in there. It's certainly a word. Tyne, there is your red line. If you get below that red line, you are definitely in the next round. Let's see how many people said Tyne. Is right. Oh, I think you're all right. I think that will see you through. 16, that scored you. Takes your total to 23. Yeah, tine is a prong, most commonly found on a, on a fork. It tines yeah. on a fork. Very good. Now, Hannah, a four letter word from Pointless. I've got two. I'm just weigh them up. I'm going to go for silt, S-I-L-T. S-I-L-T, says Hannah. Silt, let's see if that's right. There's your red line. It's incredibly low. But let's see if silt... I'm not sure it'll get you below that, but let's see how far down the column silt gets you. Silt. Absolutely right. Oh, 
15. 15 taking your total up to 35. Yeah, it's a good answer. Find sand or a sediment. I'll ask you what your other answer would have been at the end of the pass. Now then, Anne. I'm going to go for into. 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 Well, Hannah and Andy are our high scorers on 35. You're on one. A score of 33 or less sees you comfortably into the next round. There's your red line. Let's see how many of our 100 said into. And you're through. Ten. <laughs> Ten takes your total up to 11. Very well played. You are literally into round two. <laughs> In two round two. In two round two. That's not confusing at all, is it? No, it sounds good, though. Yeah. Uh, now, Tom, we are looking for four-letter words from the word pointless. You're on 16. The high scorers on 35 are Hannah and Andy. You want to be scoring 18 or less. A bit uh, touch and go, but I'll go for toil. Tom says toil. OK, there is your red line. Toil has to get you below that red line if you're to see it through to round two. Is toil good? How many people said it? It's right, obviously. You've done it! 14. <laughs> you needed 18, you got 14. Very well done. Takes your total up to 30. Yeah, toil. That's what they're currently drilling for in Yorkshire. <laughs> this, um... Do you have an answer? Well, yeah, you know how recently I've had some very bad in these words rounds. Yeah, I'm, and you're I... normally very... I have to say, genuinely, normally mm. terrifically good. You've had a couple of, of dodgy ones. Yeah, I've had a couple of dodgy ones. So it's either sine, S-I-N-E, or sine. I don't know if it's... Yes, sine. It's sine, right. Yeah. It's a mathematical thing. Yeah, it? that's a perfectly acceptable word. Sine would score you four points. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's a very good score. There's lots of... Uh, Scrabble's a good place to get lots of these four-letter words. Funnily enough, I'll show you the pointless ones in a minute. Uh, the place where the, where the really low scorers are is with some plurals. People obviously completely forgot plurals. You'd have got one point, for example, for ties. T-I-E-S would have scored you one point, as would SOPs. And let's look at the pointless answers. And there's a few plurals in here as well, which are extraordinary that they're pointless. Eons is pointless. Sort of fair enough, another way of spelling it. You can put an A on it in front, but E-O-N-S is perfectly fine. So it's Ions. Lies is a pointless answer. Scrabble players will know as well L-E-I-S would, uh, would also be all right, and that's a pointless answer. Uh, lino, nils, as in we had no nils in this round. Uh, peso was a pointless answer. Pst, pst. <laughs> Sits is a pointless answer. And toes, also a pointless answer. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, let's take a look at the worst answers, the ones that most of our 100 people said. Pins for 32. Lint for 48. And right at the top, pint. Yeah. Oh, I think fair enough for, uh, for 72. But there's lots of words in there. There's all yeah. sorts of words in there. Extraordinary. Uh, well, thanks very much indeed, Richard. So, at the end of our first round, I'm afraid the pair we have to say goodbye. Oh, this is too soon. This is really too soon, Hannah and Andy. Two perfectly good answers. That they, you didn't deserve to be sent home for pent and silt. Mm. I thought pent was, I thought pent was, mm. was, was going to be very. I had a couple of the pointless ones as well. <sighs> oh, he's good. Yeah. yeah. He's what good. was your other one going to be, Hannah, if you hadn't gone with silt? I was going to go for ties. Mm. So. Were uh, you really? Yeah. So, going to probably go home and be quite gutted about. That. See, a lot of people I wouldn't believe, but because you went to Walden Park, I know you're telling me <laughs> the truth. <laughs> Uh, Hannah, Andy, it's been lovely having you on the show. We will Thank see you again next time. We'll look forward to that very much indeed. But meantime, thanks very much for playing. Hannah and Andy. <laughs>